cops. She was, I mean, we had all sorts of law enforcement. We had local law enforcement, the feds, DEA, you name it. When my solo album came out to critical acclaim but commercial disappointment, I said, well, I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna I'm going to do my next album uh, independently, and I'm going to do it on my own. The problem was I didn't have any money, you know. In 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 earning more than I ever had, I also spent more than I I ever had. What came with the success was also it was a pride that led me to think that I was in many ways above reproach or above the law. I know you see. The breaking of a man You've taken all you can As if the house we made was laid across the sand Initially I turned my back on music because I felt in a in a strange way music had turned its back on me. And it took me a few it took me a few years to reunite with music and it and it happened rather serendipitously. I John Thought exercise I sought out to advise and add on. I changed the thinking you so proudly had on this mobilizing effort. The Breaking of a Man is the last song the that I wrote in federal and prison. It. And it tells the story of the cycle of needing to be broken down in order to be rebuilt. It was the last song I wrote before learning that my sentence was commuted. I wrote this song a week before learning that I'd be home within 30 days. say the judge killed me. Then I came to life, a newborn, like a neophyte. Fruitful love from the tree of life. This is the letter I don't need to write. Peace, see, la, bless the stars if I don't breathe the night. If I don't save you from yourself, maybe the Lord might. <laughs>